Welcome to our lesson on calculating pressure as a compound measure of force and area. So pressure is equal to the force divided by the area. In our first question, we're asked to calculate the pressure exerted on a bench of area 10 meters squared if four people whose combined weight is 600 newtons are sitting on it. So the pressure using our formula is equal to the force, which is given as 600 newtons, divided by the area, which is given as 10 meters squared. So we divide the 600 by the 10, and this gives us 60. And then we divide the newtons by the meter squared. And this gives us our unit for pressure, which is newtons per meters squared. In our next question, a cylinder of base 60 centimeters squared, so this base here is 60 centimeters squared, and it applies a force of 180 newtons to a surface, so on this surface here. So you can see the cylinder is pressing down on this area, on this surface. And we're asked to calculate the pressure that the surface is under. Again, we have the pressure, which is equal to the force of 180 newtons, divided by the area of 60 centimeters squared. And 180 divided by 60 is 3. And the newtons and centimetres squared are our units. So the surface is under 3 newtons per centimetre squared of pressure. OK, let's move on. So in this question, a cuboid exerts a force of 40 newtons while resting on a plane surface. And we're asked to calculate the difference in pressure when the cuboid is rotated by 90 degrees. So here we have the surface, which is red. And to begin with, the pressure is exerted in this area here. And then it is rotated. So the pressure is exerted through this area. So when the cuboid lays flat, we have a rectangle. Where this length is 6, which is here. Centimetres. And this length is the three centimeters so the area of a rectangle is 18 centimeters squared so the pressure would be the force of 40 newtons divided by the area which is 18 centimeters squared and this is approximately 2.2 newtons per centimeters squared and now as you rotate the cuboid we have this base here where this length is now the three centimeters and this length is this length which is two centimeters so the area of our base now it's 3 times 2, 6 centimetres squared. The force is still 40 newtons, divided by a smaller area of 6 centimetres squared. So the new pressure is approximately 6.7 newtons per centimetre squared. So the difference between the two, which is approximately 4.5 newtons per centimetres squared. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.